welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed. And today we are going to have a look at three different games again, which will be Rope Slash, Super US Football and World War 2029 Top Alert. My name is Jared and as always I've got a couple of different things with me, which are for instance the Arc Mouse, which is a Bluetooth enabled uh, mouse, which can be used in this Arc form and there is the name we are talking about there. Um, other than that, I'm going to use a foldable keyboard, you all know about that already. And um, yeah, there is no game that is using the Xbox One as wireless controller in this mashup, so we are not going to have a look at that one, and it's just staying at the side. Yeah, and um, other than that, of course, we've got our Lumia 950 XL, which is this smartphone here. It's a Lumia, uh, yeah, a Lumia phone with um, Windows 10 Mobile on it. And um, as you already can see, we have a USB-C connector, which is uh, down at the bottom here. And the USB-C connector itself is connected with a cable, of course, to the display dock at the side here. The display dock itself is connected with the uh, TV in this case. And like that, we are going to project the, uh, yeah, more or less a smartphone-created desktop-like experience. Um, so the smartphone is going to be our powerhouse in this case and will uh, do everything, there's no computer or external other device involved in this. And um, like that we can for instance use it to play games or do some office stuff and uh, stuff like that. Um, so in our case of course we are going to play games with it. If you want to know more about that please have a look at the corner up there. There are a couple of different other videos where I'm going to talk about that more in depth. And then I would say let's start with the first game which is called Rope Slash. Um, Rope Slash is a pretty small game if you ask me. It's just uh, used for um, yeah, more or less for for uh, times in between, I would say. So if you want to, for instance, um, just get around, I don't know, a couple of minutes or uh, a couple of seconds even, uh, in uh, waiting for a bus or something, or, or standing somewhere in the subway or something, then you are going to uh, have a look at that game because it's pretty nice for that. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to my all apps list, of course, and then we are going to click on that and put in rope, that should be enough. There we go, rope slash cuts a rope. Um, in the end, many of you already know some games like this. For instance, there's this one with a small little dinosaur or whatever it is, where you have to feed him. And it's a little bit like that, but not with a dinosaur or something, but you are going to have a ball more or less, and the ball is going to roll um, to different stages and, and uh, has to more or less hit different pins in the uh, in this uh, game and so let's have a look at that. As you can see it's very very easy to to see what's going on here. We just have two buttons, daily puzzles and start. I'm going to click on start in this case of course. And as you can see there is this little rope which is shown here and uh, it's holding more or less this, this soccer ball in this case. Um, that might change from level to level. And uh, here you can see there are a couple of cans and you just have to to hit them and uh, yeah, more or less bring them all to fall down and that's more or less what the game is all about. So um, doing that is of course very, very easy in the, in the first few levels. So you just have to click on it and just slice through this rope which is holding the, uh, the um, ball in this case and then the cans might or might not be, uh, be uh, thrown away. And um, as you can see this is a game with many, many different levels. Sometimes you will get this little pop-up here with a couple of different uh, other games in there and maybe a little bit of, of um, some kind of uh, advertisement. But it's really only at the, uh, at, the, uh, at the end of each level more or less and you just can click it away. So it's not really, really hard to work with. As you can see in this case, the ball itself has a little bit of momentum. So uh, it's swinging more or less on this rope. And so you really have to, to see where the ball is at at the, uh, at the moment, so you can really hit the, the cans down here in a good way. And as you can see, the, um, the, there is physics involved more or less, so the, the rope swing might even get less or, or be different. And as you can see, the rope itself is more or less like a, a gum band, whatever that's called. And yeah, like that, it has a couple of different movements in there and you really have to see when to let the ball down so that, for instance, uh, the parts are going to be there. 
and um, you will hit the, the cans of course and as you can see there are different kind of, uh, of um, environments more or less which are going to be harder and harder each uh, level you are going up and so yeah this is more or less what we did here let's do the next one again it's the end of each level there might be that one as you can see, there are a couple of different other obstacles in the way in this case. For instance, this one is is more or less going to um, yeah going to let your ball through like in a in some kind of a trap or something as you might uh, might name that. And as we do that, as you can see, it's going to flip around and turn around and, and let our ball through. But you really have to calculate that in in some situations because otherwise you're not going to hit the cans and. This is of course uh, just uh, the first few levels where you are going to learn about all these different uh, small things. Um, here's something you might hit sometimes uh, the, um, the advertisements in between. So if you uh, click two times or, or too long or something, then it might happen. But as you can see, here we have more or less another um, puzzle. And as you can see, um, if you would, for instance, slice this one first and not that one, then the ball would fall and you know, go out of the screen here, and that is, of course, uh, yeah, losing. You, you are losing the game more or less. Of course, you can just restart it at this point, so um, it's not really going to be very, very hard or something for you to to do or go on. But just to let you know, something like that might happen too. It's of course possible too. And um, yeah, if that happens, you of course can't get the, the uh, level to finish more or less, so you have to uh, click on replay and try it again. So let's cut it here. And now let's try to get the ball through, and there we go. Um, as you can see, there are a couple of different obstacles going to be there, and uh, we are in the first few levels, and the first few levels are pretty boring, if you ask me, because you really, really, yeah, in 99% I would say of the cases you should be able to solve them. But um, yeah, it's going to be harder and harder because there are going to be more and more obstacles in the way and stuff like that. So um, yeah, just try it out and see what's going on and if you can uh, can do this. For instance, this one means that you first have to cut this rope so you have some kind of, of uh, thing you can um, more or less uh, let the ball jump over, so it's not going to be um, yeah, stuck or will fall down or something. But as you can see, this is a little bit of a puzzle already, and um, it's going to be harder and harder all the time you're going to play it. Um, I think I already showed you what the game is all about and what the game can do. As you can see here, the, the obstacles are going to be harder and harder, and the puzzles are going to be harder and harder to you know, be solved. Um, in some situations you will have to, for instance, collect some stuff uh, on the way on and uh, just try it out. Uh, if you like this kind of games, it's a nice one um, and it's going to be harder and harder after a while and um, yeah, in level 10 or so, I'm not sure how many we already have. Um, it's going to be hard enough that it's really yeah, a little bit challenging sometimes and that's, that's exactly what you would like to, to play in this game. Or in this case, if you ask me, because uh, then you are not going to be um, yeah that uh, that bored. But yeah, just try it out. I think it's a nice game. It's working very, very nicely. You can at all times go out, and nothing is going to happen to you. And of course, the uh, puzzles it's, uh, uh, themselves are very, very small, and so it's really, really something you can play in between some waiting time or whatever you want to do there. Okay, so let's have a look at another game, which is Super US Football, and um, this is really the football of the, uh, of the United States, of course, so the one where close to rugby, or whatever you want to call that, and um, at least closer to rugby. And um, yeah, in the end, this is just something like a penalty shooting, or something you would, uh, would call that in soccer, for instance. Um, so you're going to try to bring the ball through the goal in this case of course there we are and um, I'm just going to click on it show it to you it's it's really a simple game too but uh, yeah somehow nicely done and there are stages you can, as they put in so it's going to be harder and harder from stage to uh, stage to to really get this going 
And um, as you can see, this is more or less uh, the whole game. You, so you are going to uh, uh, try to put uh, put the ball here through this goal. And so let's click on that. And as you can see, there are going to be two different bars or sliders, more or less. And you really have to just hit at the right time to uh, really bring it through the goal in the exact middle. And you can shoot in different uh, different uh, weights, for instance. Uh, so if you are going to shoot out of the goal, of course, you're not going to uh, receive any kind of points. And if you are going to um, get something in between, then of course you are going to get a couple of points and there are different zones. You can see the green zone is the one you really want to because then your score will go up. Um, you have to reach a certain kind of, uh, of score to go, uh, to go to the next level and this is more or less what all of this is about. And just to mention it, there is a yeah, pretty big delay so you really have to to uh, think about when to click if you are playing it like me for instance with a Bluetooth mouse. Um, which of course has a, a small delay anyway. And uh, you really just have to uh, find the hang of that. And as you can see I got the pole so it's not going to be any kind of score in this case. This for instance gives me 200 points as you can see. And so you're trying to, to reach higher numbers here. Pretty bad, the red run, not bad in the case that you're not going to get any kind of points, but still pretty bad. Um, the green one is of course the one where you're going to receive a lot of different points for. And um, this, that is of course what you are going to aim for, especially if you want to go into the higher levels later on. Um, levels are going to be different in the way that um, more or less uh, the angle uh, will change as you can see here. So we got to the stage 2 with two, uh, 700 points which is quite easy but after a while you are going to have to replay it a couple of times to go to the next stage. And uh, as you can see there is just another angle you are, you are more or less um, shooting at the goal. At the bottom you see how many of the, of the footballs you are still having to shoot with and then yeah, just try it again. And it might be a little bit troublesome from time to time. To really get into the green uh, point. I'm not sure if we are, we are going to receive this in this case. It really has to do something. You, you have to observe, for instance, how fast the sliders are going. Because they are going to change in, in speed and stuff like that from st time to time. And of course, as I mentioned before, there's a little bit of a delay too. Not too long, but it's there. And so you really have to try to get exactly the right point. This is going to be bad. <laughs> okay, I think we're not going to make it to the next level, probably. Ah, okay. It, it was enough, but I think it's pretty, pretty close to not being enough. And the good thing is that you really don't have to exactly get into the green area or something. But um, you really have to, to hit it uh, only in a certain amount of, of um, yeah, more or less missing, whatever you want to call that. So that you are going to get enough points to get to the next level. Okay, um, I think I showed you enough of this game. It's really just about that. There are going to be different angles and different di uh, dist uh, distances and stuff like that that are going to be happening here. And that is what this game is all about. A small game, again, for something you want to play in between. And that's yeah, more or less what this game is all about. Okay, so let's have a look at the last game in our mashup today. The last game is going to be World War 2029 Top Alert. Um, this is a game you might want to, to have a little uh, bit of time for because um, it's more or less a manager game. And in this, uh, in this game you are going to have... So it is already. Um, you are going to have to more or less um, build an army, try to, to get an uh, economy established and uh, just level up. And um, in the end it's a pretty nice one. You can play it as a guest star or as a... Um, or as for instance, a locked-in player, uh, depends on what you want to do there. 
And um, one little problem with the game is that there, are, there I think there should be another font in there, but the font isn't loading in. But this is all that is happening. Um, so if you already, uh, for instance, uh, have uh, have played it, you are going to see something like this because I am a guest player. We aren't seeing any kind of, of other informations here. I can just go to uh, to um, go to game more or less. In this case, um, you have to approve this. So this is more or less an option for the gifts and stuff like that. Some notices, but as you can see, everything is Times New Roman or something. I'm not sure. And so. Um, I'm not sure if that is meant to be like that, but other than that, this game works pretty nicely and is a nice one. I'm going to change around or switch around or turn around um, to be able to play it in a, in a better way. I wish they would have at least uh, put in some kind of, of aerial uh, or something, or some kind of a, a non serif um, font, but whatever, it works and you can play it. Okay, as you can see, we are in this game now, and um, at the start there's going to be some kind of a let's no let's let's start this so I can sh uh, with another username more or less so I can show you um, more about tutorial section and stuff like that because there's a pretty extensive tutorial at the start and a pretty extensive uh, tutorial at the start should be played if you ask me otherwise you're going to have a hard time. So you can click on this button. Um, of course, it's it's uh, put into German at the moment. So I'm going to switch to English just, uh, just so everybody can see it. And um, yeah, now you can just go to visitor more or less and click visitor again. And now the account will be used. Um, as you can see, you you have uh, you get some kind of a password. Then I'm not going to play this anyway. So if you want to to use the password or the uh, the account, doesn't matter for me. Um, because I have uh, own username in this case. And we are going to, uh, to play the Invasion of the Normandy. In this case, this is more or less the, the name of the server you are going to play on later on. But as you can see, this is more or less the Eastern against the Western world. So let's see what we are, what we are going to have here. Um, as you can see, there, there is going to be a pretty extensive tutorial at the start. So you are going to be um, more or less uh, given, yeah, some kind of, of commands and stuff like that. So you know what's going on, and uh, it's going to be very, very um, guided at the start. But after a while, you are going to have to decide for yourself, and it's. There are really uh, many different options and ways to do stuff and uh, different, for instance, um, resources in this game. So you really have to, to learn a little bit about it, otherwise you're going to have a hard time to play this game. Okay, so um, this is more or less our veteran. Um, the veteran is, is the name of this guy, it's not his title or something. Um, he is just an old war hero more or less and he's going to be your playing figure more or less because um, it's more like an avatar, so they are all working with you. It's not that you are in this game, but they are all working with you and telling you what's going on. And I'm going to uh, increase the volume a little bit so we can maybe hear his voice. I'm not sure if we can. Um, otherwise, uh, you can later on, if you click through the tutorial, um, you can, for instance, increase or decrease the sound volume and stuff like that. But that's only available after the tutorial, so we will have to work with this for now. So, first off, um, they are going to show us how to to fight more or less. So in the end they are showing us how to build an army first. So we have a commander, you always need one kind of a commander to, to be able to create an army for him. And as you can see, each commander has more or less his own army already defined what that should look like. And um, you can upload, update them, upgrade the commanders, upgrade your base and stuff like that. We are going to, to see that later on. But in the end now we got this and now our, uh, our city here is more or less being uh, under attack and we have to help them, uh, or help the, the other guys here, to get rid of the aggressors. Okay, so we are clicking on that. and. 
we are going to get another commander as a, as small as a reward for that. So there's the enemy army which is going to try to hit our city. So we are going to click on that, of course. And now we are going to try to fight against this enemy. We already have our our um, veteran commander, so we are going to select him. You can select one of the commanders you want to. And uh, after that you can click here. And as you can see, we are going to surely be being, being winning. Of course, it's the first, uh, first one we are going to play here. So it should be like that. Now we are going to change the, the setting more or less. And now you can see this is the gaming gameplay stuff. You're not going to do much here. So it's all about how, uh, how well up updated and upgraded is your army if you're winning here or not. And after that you're going just to quit this and of course you're going to be rewarded with different uh, kind of stuff. For instance the experience of course. Um, you're going to have different kind of, uh, of different um, yeah, resources in the end. So we have oil, we have steel and we have rubber which we gained. And of course there is money too. And those are more or less the main resources you're going to experience in, the, in this game. But there are more uh, than that. Awards, of course, too. And now we got one of our rewards. Which is, of course, this one. So we get a new commander in this case. And you're going to try to collect a couple of different commanders in this game. So um, it's a wise and good decision to get the commanders after a while. Because you can build more armies with that. And there's only two, arm uh, two commanders at the start. But you're going to be updating your city later on. Or better to say your base and stuff like that. And that will give you more options to do that. Okay, so um, as you can see we are pretty much guided through the, the whole process here. So we are going to go to Hero. In this case, and in the heroes we can, for instance, create a new one, um, hire new ones. In this case, later on it's going to be in the bar, but now it's going to be here. And um, we can, for instance, uh, give them some kind of information, some kind of power-ups and stuff like that. And of course, if you did something well, it let you can, for instance, upgrade him too. Um, this is uh, the commander we already uh, we obtained at the moment, and so we are going to upgrade him. He you can see he has a couple of different uh, other um, units which is uh, which he is controlling. So we are going to click on upgrade in this case, and now you can just press to continue more or less. Okay, get out of here. Now we have to upgrade our veteran uh, character too. So for that you click on that button for instance. And now go to the other commander in this case of course. And as you can see we can upgrade him now. Because he's only level 1 at the moment and now he's level 3 because we had enough of the experience already to get him there. And the experience boxes are more or less what you are going to uh, to obtain in your different victories, and of course, if you, for instance, have experience book three uh, in the primary uh, part here, then that is going to help your commander a little bit. And uh, if you, for instance, have the super experience uh, experience book here, if there is, for instance, three, then the commander will really, really be a lot uh, upgraded a lot if you are upgrading. In, uh, him with something of, uh, or some of those uh, experience pointers. And yeah, other than that, just try this out. As you can see, we have the different commanders now. And now go in here, we have a fatalism too. So there are different kind of skills and, uh, and other options to work with. And we can, for instance, um, join them together more or less. Okay, so let's activate that. So in the end you can use them um, uh, in combination with each other and uh, the combinations are going to be uh, yeah, interesting because they are going to help you to overcome the, the enemy later on too. So if for instance you can't do it with, uh, with Courage and Veteran together you might want to use one of the other um, commanders you are going to receive in future. Okay and after that we are just going to click on the back button here a couple of times 
And um, yeah, now we are going to be in our main quest, for instance. If you want to have a look at the test, you have to click on this one down here and there you get uh, the uh, rewards and stuff like that and there will be tasks later on which are going to help you. I'm going to click them a little bit faster away than, than normally because in general you would like to read them, at least uh, have a look at them or have a glimpse at them. And here we are going to create the new army for our new officer we already got or the new commander we already got and um, yeah. so. Let's have a look. We get a couple of rewards for creating two teams, so two armies in this case. And um, yeah, so let's see what we can do here. Um, we can of course add to the army if for instance one of our fights already um, got problems and now we have a whole army combined from two different um, commanders and stuff like that. And yeah, this is more or less what the game is all about. You have to manage the different things. So after that, we are going to play one of the new um, yeah, provinces here. So this is your main city and then there are a couple of different other provinces. You're going to build stuff later on and, and buy stuff and play of course the hero itself too. And um, so this game is pretty much what you would expect it to be. It's, it's really just an army manager where you are going to have to, so we want to uh, fight with both of them, um, and uh, where you really have to, yeah, where you really have to manage the armies and, and get everything done. And as you can see, um, since we did very well, we get a new, a new um, camp more or less, which is transported already there. So there's going to be another um, base more or less here and the base itself is pretty interesting because the base itself is much better than just the city because here you can for instance upgrade the different army units and do stuff like that. So let's have a look at that too. I'm going to click here on the base stuff and now there is going to be the base loaded so it's a different kind of setup in this case and here you are going to build stuff. So. Um, more or less you can click on the different parts here, the capital and stuff like that, and upgrade it for instance. So if I click on that, um, it's going to take a little while, but after a while then you are going to have some new level up. And um, of course you can for instance build different things like barracks and the bar itself and stuff like that. Okay, so let's click on our main objective in this case, we get rewarded again. Okay. And now we can, for instance, build barracks in this case, so um, just let's get that. And now we can, in this case, a battalion, uh, we can, for instance, um, build tanks and stuff like that with this. And um, for that we are going to get rather too. So we are going to be pretty rich at the start, we are not going to worry too much about the money, but it might change later on, as you may already know with this kind of games. And now we can, for instance, train another army component in 10 minutes in this case and just uh, try to obtain more of that stuff. We are going to build another one then. So in this case we are going to build this um, second part two. Okay, we did that. Thank you. Thank you. Already did that too. Now we can update, for instance, one of those or train some uh, some stuff. Let's uh, train some stuff, you know. And after a while, we are going to be able to build a bar, and in the bar, we can, for instance, get new commanders and stuff like that. Yeah, and after after you have built more or less all the stuff up, and you are going to use your resources in a wise way, hopefully. Um, you're going to fight again in different uh, fights against other armies which are going to be um, trying to fight you back, of course, or in attack you or whatever. Yeah, here's the bar, let's go to that. And I would say then the rest is up to you, so you have to find out what's going on. So next we are going to get the new commander. We already saw his, his image uh, in the uh, former stuff there. But uh, as you can see, we have a different kind of army commanders uh, for, uh, to be able to be chosen in this case. But um, yeah, we are not going to do that in this case because uh, Tori doesn't want us to for whatever reason. 
and we are just going to go back and get the rewards again. So pretty rewarding stuff. Um, as you can see, we have rich resources, cash, oil, steel, and rubber. Rubber, of course, for uh, for um, the wheels of the different vehicles you are going to uh, build here. So very important. And other than that, let's go back to the road and see what's going on here. And as you can see, we got all the different stuff and we can now start with the real game more or less. So this is close to being uh, being through the tutorial, not really, it's going to, to give you a couple of different hints, uh, um, nevertheless. Sometimes it takes a little to, to press on the buttons, I'm not sure why that is, but it's the case. And there's another enemy uh, which is approaching us and we would have to fight against him. But I would say let's um, let's finish it here because all of the different things are going to be pretty much um, self-explanatory. Or better to say are in the tutorial if you are playing it. And um, if you like this kind of games you should have a look at it. It's a nice one. Um, it really gives you... Uh, many many different options to, to manage the different armies and stuff like that and so just try it out. It's a pretty good game if you like managed uh, war simulations. Go on and download it. Yeah, and then I would say thank you for watching, thank you for listening. I'm going to close this one down now. Um, I hope you had fun with it. If you did, please, have, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up and of course uh, if you have any kind of questions put them down in the uh, commentary section below. And of course, if you didn't subscribe till now, please do it now. It's helping the channel, me and everybody here. So it's a good thing. And of course, it's not going to cost you anything. And other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We are going to see us in the next episode, in the next, uh, around the next weekend. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. See you and bye. Bye.